I bought one of these antennas advertised as a disc cone antenna. Bought it for my SDR radio. And I've got it here on top of a 10 foot piece of PVC pipe, just a couple of feet away from my aluminum siding house. I've got, uh, I think, 25 feet of coax into the window. My MFJ feed through panel. And let's go see how it works on the Nano VNA. And look at the specs quote unquote from amazon.com the original antenna that I bought on Amazon isn't listed there anymore but I could find it in my purchase history and it's a center fire antenna so I went to the center fire site and it's called on the Amazon site a deluxe disc cone antenna it uh, don't see that exactly on the disc cone site but they do have a hybrid 144 mini disc cone which I'm assuming is 144 for ham radio and it looks an awful lot like what I've had out there, so I think it's the same antenna. Uh, I think, um, I'm not sure it's 40 inches, it probably is, maybe. It seems a little high to me, but. And it says that the peak re receive performance is 137 to 170, 440 to 470, and 820 to 870. <laughs> Analog or digital, not really sure what that means. Uh, it says this antenna was originally sold as a center fire deluxe discount, so that's what I have. Uh, we expanded our operations, we're relabeling, they're doing other stuff. Uh, various horizontal elements, ground elements, looks a lot like the same part, so I'm assuming this is the same thing. Never really sure when I see things like gain or loss of 0 dB, exactly what they're talking about. But it says it's a great antenna for youth with dual band handheld radios. And it can be tuned to an SWR below 1.5 in the 2 meter band. It will also transmit on the 70 meter band with an SWR below 2 between 440 and 448. So maybe that's true. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Don't know. Um, we'll go measure it with the Nano VNA and see what the Nano VNA says it does. Might be, might be good. I bought it really just for my SDR Sharp or for running with SDR Sharp. This is the RTL SDR unit that I bought. Uh, it's a step up from the plastic enclosed one. Comes in a little metal case. And it's the reason I bought the quote unquote disc cone antenna. And let's take a look at the disc cone with the Nano VNA and see what it looks like. Turn on the Nano VNA. And probably need to run through the CAL procedure here because I haven't run it at this frequency range yet. CAL, calibrate. And now it's going to ask me for an open. And in the little box of doodads here, one of the doodads is something without a center pin. This little guy, probably didn't come in focus there, sorry about that. Screw that on there. And then hit open. Uh, now it's asking me for a short. And the short is the little one here with the center pin, but it's got no dielectric in the middle. So let's put that guy in there. Hit short. And now it's asking me for load. And this little silvery guy is the load. It's a 50 ohm load, allegedly. Who knows? Get the load button. And now it's asking for isolation. I just hit OK on that. It's asking for through. Hit OK on that, and then click Done. So we're done with the calibration procedure. Take this off, and we'll attach up the disc cone antenna. Did I forget the quote unquote on it? I think I did. I think we probably want it. All right, let's set our frequency limits here. 
We're set up for SWR with a scale of 0.2 to begin with. And let's go ahead and set our frequency limits. Stimulus, start, click down here to get the numbers to come up. And we'll start here at 30 megahertz. And we'll set an end frequency, stop frequency of 900, which is the limit of this device, megahertz. Now let's see where we're at. Ah, oh, very interesting chart. Looks like the SWR is fairly decent at the start. Let's uh, rescale this so we can see what we got. Go back and we go display and scale and scale per division. Right now we're on 0.25 SWR 0.25 per division so it's a fairly small scale but let's go to 0.5 make it easier to drag things around times one and it looks like the SWR somewhat resonant at different positions it claims that it runs at 28 megahertz we're not down that low enough to check but let's move the marker here up a little bit move the marker a little bit hard to grab onto it at times. To the first spot here. Let's see if I can get it with my finger. That might be a little better. Try to go to the first resonant sort of area here. Oh, doesn't want to stick, does it? Uh, let's see. That's an SWR of 3.04 at 117 megahertz. One of the things it listed was that it runs in handband. 140 so let's see if we can get near that ah, keeps wanting to pop up that other screen over there probably not doing this right let's see where this little dip is down here I can get it to go and stay come on okay that's pretty close that's 177 with an SWR of 2.65 and it looks like it gets better and better as time goes on here. Let's find a, try to find another spot up here. Let's go up to the 900. We can get up there. Eh, come on. You know you want to do it. And drag it up there. Let's see. At 856 megahertz, looks like an SWR of 1.38. That's really not, not horrible. Really not horrible. So... I think this uh, is something of an antenna. I don't know if I would uh, want to transmit anything into it in various parts of it, but you know, maybe, maybe it'd be okay. Here at 490, looks like it's 1.72. So, hey, maybe at 440, it's good. Let's go, let's go look at 440 and see what we get. So let's re-set up the display. Stimulus. Oh, go back. Sorry. Stimulus. Start here at 400 megahertz. And we'll set the end frequency to 500. How's that sound? Let's take a look at what it looks like across that band. Well, it's way past the handband numbers, but hey, the reality is that here, eh, around 440, somewhere in that area. SWR doesn't look too horrible. I might actually be tempted to use that as a 440 antenna. Let's see if I can get that back over there. That's close. 435. A little bit more maybe. 440, it's got an SWR of 2.01. Eh, I don't know. Not horrible, I guess. Not great, but not horrible. And definitely pretty uh, interesting pattern of ups and downs there. It's definitely got its happy spots that are a little bit better, but even these are not bad. That's uh, 1.76 at 443, right in the middle of the, or maybe towards the end of the 440 megahertz band. Um, interesting. Interesting. All right, just to be thorough, let's look at it and uh, two meter band. Looks like it's an SWR of 1.98, kind of a dip point there, so I guess that's not false advertising in that, yeah, it's, it's somewhat tuned for the handband, 
and at the back end of it, at the 144 end, come on, it looks like it's 3.07, so probably not something I'd want to transmit into, but certainly for the listening on the RTL SDR, it's probably a lot better, well, it's certainly a lot better than that little stick that comes with the RTL SDR. I don't even know where that is, probably in the trash by now.